Hello, hopefully y'all can hear us. Hello? Good afternoon. If you can hear us, can you just answer yes? Cool. I got a couple of confirmations so you guys can hear us. All right. We'll go ahead and get started. Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar. I am Lorene Bobo, the Director of Transportation Development for District 5. And on behalf of the District 5 team, I would like to welcome you to the District Fiscal Year 2021 Virtual Consultant Acquisition Plan, or CAP, forum. Before we begin, let's cover some general information. This presentation will last short of an hour, and it will be recorded for future viewing. The recording and presentation material will be published later today at the link provided at the end of this presentation. Our presentation in PDF format is also available as a handout on our webinar panel. So let's get started. On the screen is today's agenda. You'll hear from our staff in the department areas listed. Hear about the professional services advertisements we have planned for phases 12, 22, 32, 52, and 62 in fiscal year 21, which begins in July of this year until June 2021. The information presented today is subject to change, but the information is valuable as it provides our consultant community insight on the projects and contracts we have planned. In the upcoming months, the acquisition plan will be finalized and published on FDOT's procurement website. Therefore, you'll want to keep up to date with this website for the latest updates and details on the advertisements presented today. A link to the procurement website is also available at the end of today's webinar. As a reminder, prior to formal advertisement, you can contact department project managers identified for information on the advertisement. Once formally advertised, all communication must go through our procurement group through the contract specialists identified on the advertisement. Highlights of our advertisement for fiscal year 2021 are two PDEs for interchanges along I-95. In design, we have resurfacing, safety, and traffic improvement projects in Brevard, Marion, Orange, Osceola, Seminole, and Volusia counties. CEI services are needed across most of our counties within our jurisdiction, with the exception of Flagler. The majority are in Brevard. We will issue 16 district-wide specialty miscellaneous continuing service contracts, some individually advertised, and others will be multiple selection from one advertisement. District 5 continues to support the Business Development Initiative, or BDI, program by reserving professional services contracts for small businesses. We have a total of nine advertisements in BDI this coming fiscal year. Design will have six, totaling 7.12 million, and CEI will have three, totaling 780,000. A focus for the district in recent months has been to reduce the length of acquisition from formal advertisement to notice to proceed. Noticeable on the, future, on the future acquisitions, and we look forward to consultant support with proactive response and availability in order to achieve this challenge and get going on projects quicker. So in summary, we have $167.1 million across 38 advertisements in fiscal year 2021. Phase 12 has 3 million, Phase 22, 6 million. Phase 32, 124,943,000. Phase 52, 10.5 million. And phase 62, 22,730,000. Last on the agenda today, we will hear from 
uh, Ligia Benoy, who will share information on our Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program, which will be ben beneficial for consultants pursuing any of our advertisements. Thank you very much for joining us today, and we'll get started. The Planning and Environmental Management Office has four new contracts being advertised this year from February 2020 through October 2020. This includes three new pd &E studies and one new continuous service contract for an estimated total of nine million. We have provided a detailed summary for each project for the Planning and Environmental Management Office. Thank you for all of your interest. FPID 446826-1, pd and &E study for a new interchange for Interstate 95 at Maytown Road in Volusia County. The project manager will be Amy Windham. The pd and &E study will evaluate alternatives for the development of a new interchange at Interstate 95 and Maytown Road. Formal advertisement is anticipated in May 2020 with contract execution in October 2020. The contract length is approximately three years and major work types are 2.0 and 3.2. FPID 41972-1 pd &E study for improvements to the Interstate 95 interchange at State Road 5, US 1 in Volusia County. The project manager will be Amy Windham. The pd &E study will evaluate alternatives for safety and operational improvements to update the existing interchange to meet future travel demands. Formal advertisement is anticipated in February 2020 with contract execution in July 2020. The contract length is approximately three years and the major work types are 2.0 and 3.2. FPID 4447871 pd &E study for the State Road 401 bridge replacement at Port Canaveral between State Road 528 and 1,000 feet north of the bridges in Bavara County. The project manager will be David Graber. The pd &E study will evaluate the replacement of the bridges at Port Canaveral. The formal advertisement is anticipated in October 2020 with contract execution in March 2021. The contract length is approximately three years and the major work types are 2.0 and 3.2. FPID 446756-1 is a continuous services contract for the planning and pd &E studies for a period of five years. The project manager will be Heather Garcia. This contract will assist the Planning and Environmental Management Office with planning, pd &E, and engineering services. Formal advertisement is anticipated in August 2020 with contract execution in December 2020. The major work groups are 13.3 through 13.7 with minor work group 2.0. Hello, my name is Mario Bezio, and I am the District 5 Design Engineer. During this section of the webinar, we will cover design-related projects to be advertised and awarded during the 2021 fiscal year in the design department areas of survey and mapping and consultant project management. These design units combined will conduct a total of 17 advertisements, which will include 30 contracts to be awarded, with an estimated total budgeted amount of $62 million. For a more in-depth review of these projects, I will now turn this over to the respective design team members' representatives. Thank you.
SPID 445221-1, Tyler Brigitte is a project manager. This project is located in Seminole County. The estimated contract execution is October 2020. The estimated contract amount is $1,045,000 with an estimated length of contract of 24 months. The project will mill and resurface State Road 426 from the State Road 417 overpass to Irie Drive. The project will also include roadside safety and multimodal improvements, drainage, sidewalk reconstruction, ADA improvements, lighting, and traffic signal upgrades. This contract will have a goes with project 441016-1. FPID 441016-1, Talib Shams, the project manager. This project is located in Brevard County. The estimated contract execution is October 2020. The estimated contract amount is $1,350,000 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. The project will mill and resurface State Road 528 from US 1 to State Road 401. FPID 443-702-1 and 445-697-1. Anthony Miller is the project manager. The projects are located in Osceola County. The estimated contract execution is November 2020. The combined estimated contract amount is $2,305,000 and the length of contract is 48 months. The contract will include both design projects and will be based on 443-702-1, which will widen State Road 60 to provide an eastbound passing lane beginning just east of Blanket Bay Slough Bridge and a westbound passing lane beginning just west of Peavine Road. 445-697-1 will add audible striping on State Road 60 from the Three Lakes Wildlife Management Area to Peavine Road. It will also upgrade signage and intersection lighting at State Road 60 and Peavine Road. FPID 442-885-1 and 445-689-1. Heidi Trivet is the project manager. The projects are located in Brevard County. The combined estimated contract amount is $3,111,000. The estimated contract execution is November 2020 with an estimated length of contract of 21 months. This contract will include both design projects. 442-885-1 is a resurfacing project on State Road 520 from Aurora Road to Hubert Humphrey Causeway. Project 445-689 is a safety project on State Road 520 from Lake Drive to Var Avenue that includes turn lane widening, median and drainage modifications, pedestrian feature improvements, and intersection lighting. FPID 445-693-1, 445-695-1, and 445-767-1. Elio Joseph is the project manager. The projects are located in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is December 2020. The combined estimated contract amount is $1,122,000 and the estimated length of the contract is 24 months. This is a BDI project. The contract will include all three projects with proposals based on 445-693-1, which is a safety project to replace the existing strain poles with mast arm assemblies at the intersection of State Road 50 and Mills Avenue, and also to construct curb extensions on all four corners of the intersection of State Road 50 and Thornton Avenue. 445-695-1, will construct new mast arm assemblies and construct a raised traffic separator at State Road 50 and Westmoreland Drive. 445-767-1 will design pedestrian crossing improvements at the intersection of State Road 50 and US 441, including new mast arms, new accessible pedestrian signals, intersection lighting retrofit, sidewalk and curb ramp construction, and resurfacing within the intersection. A standard construction easement with CSXT Railroad is needed. SPID 439234-1, Samuel Jumper is the project manager. This project is located in Marion County. The estimated contract execution is December 2020. The estimated contract amount is $1 million and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. The project will mill and resurface State Road 200 from I-75 to Southwest 12th Avenue. The project also includes minor drainage work, pedestrian signal upgrades, ADA improvements, right-of-way control survey, and preparing the 30% right-of-way maps. This contract will have a goes-with project 
445-687-1. FPID 445-687-1, Sue Howe is the project manager. The project is located in Marion County. The estimated contract execution is December 2020. The estimated contract amount is $600,000, and the estimated length of contract is 48 months. The project will reconstruct the pedestrian crossing on US 41 at Denellen City Hall. A pedestrian hybrid beacon will be used to replace the existing RRFB. A raised directional median is also proposed. FPID 442-884-1 and 442-874-1. Marcus Lisicki is the project manager. The projects are located in Volusia County. The estimated contract execution is January 2021. The combined estimated contract amount is $2,108,000, and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. This contract will include two resurfacing projects on State Road A1A. Project 442-884-1 includes State Road A1A from US 92 to north of State Road 40, while 442-874-1 resurfaces State Road A1A from north of State Road 40 to Roberta Road. The work also includes, but is not limited to, roadside safety improvements, drainage improvements, sidewalk reconstruction, ADA improvements, and traffic signal upgrades. FPID 445-692-1, Anthony Miller is the project manager. This project is located in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is May 2021. The estimated contract amount, $409,000, and the estimated length of contract, 24 months. This is a BDI project. The project will design improvements at the intersection of State Road 527 and State Road 438, including new mast arms, ADA improvements, and pedestrian signal and lighting upgrades. FPID 445-691-1, Joseph Fontanelli is the project manager. This project is located in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is January 2021. The estimated contract amount is $2 million, and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. The project will design safety improvements along State Road 527 from Clay Avenue to South Orlando Avenue, including lane reduction, the addition of turn lanes, and a new roundabout at the intersection of State Road 527 and Clay Avenue. FPID 445-716-1 and 445-208-1. Heidi Trivet is the project manager. The projects are located in Volusia County. The estimated contract execution is February 2021. The combined estimated contract amount is $2,658,000 and the estimated length of contract is 21 months. The contract will include two projects and selection will be based on 445-716-1 a safety project on US 17 from State Road 15A to Ponce de Leon Boulevard that includes turn lane widening, median modification, drainage modifications, pedestrian features, lane departure mitigation, and intersection lighting. 445-208-1 will resurface US 92 from Educators Road to Tomoka Farms Road. SPID 445-709-1 and 445-801-1. Todd Helton is the project manager. The projects are located in Osceola County. The estimated contract execution is February 2021. The estimated combined contract amount is $1,675,000 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. This contract will include both projects with proposals based on 445-709-1, which is a safety project that will add two signalized restricted crossing U-turn intersections on US 192 from New York Avenue to Michigan Avenue. 445-801-1 calls for adding back plates to the traffic signals and lengthening the westbound dual left turn lanes at the intersection of North Orange Blossom Trail and East Osceola Parkway. Design services will also be executing the following continuing services contracts. Advertising in April 2020 will be CSC 23, 24, and 25. Advertising in August 2020 will be CSC 29, 30, and 31. Additionally, there will be four CSC BDI contracts. Number 26 will advertise in April 2020, 
number 27 in July 2020, number 28 in September 2020, and number 32 in January 2021. SPID 411998-1, Thomas LaCourt is the project manager. The estimated contract execution is August 2020. The estimated contract amount, $5 million. The estimated length of contract is five years. This is a district-wide continuing services contract for surveying and mapping. Hello, my name is Jim Strohs. I am the District 5 Traffic Operations Engineer. This portion of the webinar will cover the district's traffic operations work program for fiscal year 2021. We will be advertising two TSMNO based contracts for a total of $700,000. I will now turn it over to the District 5 Traffic Operations team to provide a more detailed description of each project. SPID. 439-045-1-32-04, district-wide TSMNO focused design contract. The PM is Noemi Rodriguez Bonilla, and this contract will consist of major work types 6.3.1, 6.3.2, and 6.3.3, and minor work types 3.1, 8.1, and 9.4. The estimated contract amount is $500,000 with contract execution anticipated in April of 2021. FPID 441999-1-32-01. ITS Highway Rail Notification and Arterial Approach Clearance within Seminole and Orange County. The PM is Noemi Rodriguez Bonilla, and this contract will consist of major work types 6.3.1, 6.3.2, and 6.3.3, with minor work types 3.1 and 8.1. The estimated contract amount is $200,000, with contract execution anticipated in September 2020. Hello, my name is John Tyler and I'm the District 5 Construction Engineer. In this portion of the webinar, we will cover the District's Consultant CEI Work Program for fiscal year 2021. We will be advertising 12 CEI contracts for over $22 million in CEI fees. Three of the contracts will be business development initiative set aside and will be restricted to only small businesses. One group, Group 197, will be advertised as a lump sum CEI contract. All other groups will be advertised as limiting amount of contracts. All of the CTI groups will be selected from expanded letters of response. I will now turn it over to the District 5 CTI team to provide a more detailed description for each of the groups. Group 190, Project Manager Nicole Ayton, Ocala Operations. This contract includes three projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2.2 million. The execution date for this contract is October 19, 2020. The projects in this group are 433-651-1. This project is to improve safety and traffic flow. Improvements include additional turn lanes on County Road 484 from Southwest 20th Avenue to County Road 475A. 441-136-1. This project is to mill and resurface on US-441 from County Road 25A to the US-301-441 interchange. 441-366-1. Include changes to the median access to improve the safety of this corridor. On State Road 40 from Southwest 27th Avenue to MLK Junior Avenue. Group 191, Project Manager Wilkes Kemp, Brevard Operations. This contract includes five projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1,618,000. The execution date for this contract is September 4, 2020. The projects in this group are 
439-1231, resurfacing, widening on State Route 519 from Prosperity Place to the I-95 northbound ramps. 439-7781, widen and resurface State Road 518 east of I-95 northbound off-ramp to west of Sarno Road. 439-7791, widening left turn lanes on State Road 518 from Jones Road to 200 feet east of I-95 interchange ramps. 437-1161, drainage improvements at the State Road 528 and US 1 interchange. 441-9451, signalize, widen, and construct dual right turn lanes on US 1 at the State Road 404 eastbound ramps. Group 192, Project Manager Trevor Williams, Orlando Operations. This contract includes two projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1,026,000. The execution date for this contract is August 7, 2020. The projects in this group are 441-0211, mill resurface and other improvements including guardrail, drainage, and addition of bicycle lanes and signage on US 17 from Con Road to Bamboo Lane. 444-1871, interchange modification on Interstate 4 at County Road 532 from South Goodman Road to Kemp Road. Group 193, the land operations. This contract includes seven projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2,213,000. The execution date is August 21st, 2020. The projects are 4414141, installing directional medians on State Road 15A from US 1792 to South Adele Avenue. 4389682, construct a traffic island on State Road 15A from US 1792 to 480 feet west of State Road 15. 4458951, replacing the existing sign structure 79S083 on State Road A1A eastbound. 4431681, resurface State Road 44 from east of Interstate 4 to west of Pioneer Trail. 4411341, rehabilitate asphalt on State Road 15A from 500 feet south of Plymouth to County Road 92. 443-433-1, resurface eastbound State Road 600 from North Alabama Avenue to east of North Kepler Road. 437-133-1, construct a bypass storm water system on US 1792 from Mandarin Avenue to north of East Kentucky Avenue. Group 194, Project Manager Eric Jaggers, Leesburg Operations. This contract includes two projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $4.5 million. The execution date for this contract is September 19, 2020. The projects in this group are 438-562-3. This project includes full reconstruction and parking expansion of both southbound rest areas along Interstate 75 in Sumter County. 435-859-3. The purpose of this project is to widen State Road 50 from two to four lanes on State Road 50 from Hernando Sumter County Line to east of County Road 478A. Group 195, Project Manager Esther Montoya, Brevard Operations. This contract includes eight projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $3,404,000. Execution for this contract is in January 2021. The pro projects are 436-1251, dual left turn lanes and widening on-ramps at the I-95 and Wickham Road intersection. 439-1351, reconstruct the existing traffic signals and install new traffic signals on Sarno Road <coughs> at Wickham Road. 442-881-1, resurface eastbound State Road 518 from US 1 to Pineapple Avenue. 442-883-1, rehabilitate asphalt pavement on US 192 from Riverside Place to State Road A1A. 441-0001, reconstruct the existing traffic signals and install new traffic signals on US 1 at Jordan Boulevard. 
441-0131, Millinery Surface, North Courtney Parkway from State Road 528 to Kidney Space Center. 442-9091, resurfacing, shoulder widening, and guardrail replacement on State Road 520 from West Yates Road to the Brevard County Line. 443-5441, at mid-block pedestrian crosswalks on State Road A1A from Cocoa Isle Boulevard to St. Lucie Lane. Group 196, Project Manager Ryan Flips, Orlando Operations. This contract includes two projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $586,000. The execution date for this contract is September 28, 2020. The projects in this group are 439-2371, Millinery Surface on Apopka Vinland Road from north of Lake Bryan Beach Boulevard to Vinland Avenue. The project also includes new sidewalk, drainage, signal, lighting, and ITS improvements. 441-1461. This project includes the resurfacing on State Road 535, Kinsimi Vinland Road from International Drive to south of I-4. Pedestrian safety upgrades will also be included. Group 197, Project Manager Glenn Rainey, the land operations. This contract includes three projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2.3 million. This is a lump sum CEI contract. The execution date for this contract is December 2nd, 2020. The projects are 441-133-1, milling and resurfacing, roadway markings and signs, ITS components on I-95 from south of Dunn Avenue to Airport Road. 441-138-1, resurfacing State Road 44 from County Road 4118 to State Road 415 to Mocha Farms Road. 441-132-1, mill and resurface pedestrian facility improvements on State Road 442, Indian River Boulevard from I-95 to State Road 5. Group 199, Project Manager Trevor Williams, Orlando Operations. This contract includes three projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1,116,000. The execution date for this contract is March 2nd, 2021. The projects in this group are 441-1441, millinery surface, pedestrian facility improvements, drainage improvements, and signing and pavement markings on South Orange Avenue from Sand Lake Road to Prince Street. 435-7331, Enhanced Pedestrian and Bicycle Mobility and Connectivity to New Sand Lake Road Sun Rail Station on State Road 527 from Prince Street to Mandalay Road. 441-1451, Resurface South Orange Avenue from Grant Street to Gore Street. Group 200, Project Manager Robert Marcoux, Brevard Operations. This contract includes six projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1.4 million. Execution for this contract is February 3rd, 2021. The projects in this group are 443-2631, fender replacement on two bridges carrying US-192. 443-3331, fender replacement on three bridges carrying State Road 401. 443-3341, fender replacement on two bridges carrying State Road 520. 445-3951, pile jacket project on three bridges carrying State Road 404. 445-8961, pile jacket project on State Road 520 westbound over St. John's River Bridge. 441-0201, millinery surface State Road 519 from a quarter mile south of the I-95 interchange to State Road 520. Group 201, Project Manager Karen Madrid, Leesburg Operations. This contract includes four projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2,037,000. The execution date for this contract is February 17, 2021. The projects in this group are 441-1351, the purpose of this project is to mill and resurface and construct new sidewalk segments on State Road 19 from County Road 452 to Golden Gym Drive, south of Umatilla. 441-1352.
This project consists of median access management improvements on State Road 19 from Burrell Road to Mabane Street. 441-1371. The purpose of this project is to mill and resurface, including necessary roadside enhancements, as well as improvements to meet ADA standards on State Road 44 from Bottle Brush Court to US 27. 441-0141. The purpose of this project is to resurface State Road 44 from Citrus County Line to west of I-75. Project improvements also include stormwater pipe repairs and some shoulder widening. Group 203, Project Manager Joel Castillo, Orlando Operations. This contract includes two projects for an estimated CEI contract amount of $611,000. The execution date for this contract is January 22, 2021. The projects in this group are 441-0361. Purpose of this project is to add a center turn lane on State Road 60 from east of US 441 to west of State Road 91. 439-4871. The purpose of this project is to mill and resurface the roadway, including minimal roadside improvements on US 441 from Okeechobee County Line to State Road 60. Good afternoon. I'm Kathy Alexander, Program Management Administrator for District 5, and we're excited to present two advertisements that we'll be putting out in the next year. The first one is our district-wide general engineering consultant contract, and that's a $62 million contract for five years and then a design-build push-button contract, which is a three-year contract for a total of $10 million. Our project managers will now provide details on both of these advertisements. FPID 436094-2, Zora Rockefeller is the project manager. This is a district-wide contract. The estimated contract execution is July 2020. The estimated contract amount is $62 million, with an estimated length of contract of five years. This is a general engineering consultant contract providing services for a wide range of engineering, architectural, survey mapping, technical, management, and administrative services. FPID 437755-1, Steve Smith is the project manager. This is a district-wide contract. The estimated contract execution is December 2020. The estimated contract amount is $10,500,000, and the estimated length of contract is 36 months. This is a district-wide design-build push-button contract responsible for the implementation of projects from concept to completion of construction. Typical projects will consist of, but are not limited to, minor intersection improvements, sidewalks, lighting upgrades, median revisions, traffic signal installation, signing and pavement marking projects, minor roadway projects, intelligent transportation systems upgrades, safety improvements, minor structures projects, and other miscellaneous traffic operations and safety improvements. Procurement is tentatively scheduled to begin in April, May, 2020. The Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or DBE, program is a program to help ensure equal opportunity in contract award and administration. A DBE is a minority-owned business. The purpose of the DBE program is to help level the playing field so that minority-owned businesses can successfully compete in the marketplace. It does this by ensuring the integrity of certifying DBE firms through the DBE certification process and by removing barriers that would otherwise limit a DBE's chances of participating in DOT contracts. FDOT established a three-year goal of 10.65% DBE participation in October of 2017. This is a goal that FDOT believes can be achieved through the normal competitive procurement process and with the current availability of DBEs. The goal itself is not a requirement, but participation in the program is. DBE participation best practices will help achieve the goal. Always consider DBE firms during bidding. All bidders, DBE, non-DBE, successful and unsuccessful, must submit a bidder opportunity list. This is submitted at the time of bid into the EOC or Equal Opportunity Compliance System. Included in this list are all the companies solicited or that reached out seeking work on the project, 
whether they are DBE, non-DBE, successful, or unsuccessful. The DBE directory can be utilized to find certified DBEs. Good faith efforts to reach the DBE goal must be documented and include the name of the business, date solicited, date of response, and the outcome. DBEs have to be paid monthly, and their payments need to be recorded in EOC along with their commitments. Remember, the DBE availability can be passed down to any subconsultant at any tier. This concludes our Consultant Acquisition Plan webinar. As a reminder, the presentation in PDF format will be posted to our procurement marketing site. The recording of today's presentation will also be posted to YouTube. If you have any questions at this time, please submit them through the webinar chat area, which will remain open for the next two or three minutes. On behalf of District 5's Interim Secretary, Jared Perdue, we thank you for attending today's webinar. We haven't received any questions yet, but I do want to remind everybody that the handout for today's presentation is available on the dashboard for this go-to webinar. If you look over to the dashboard, you'll see a handouts tab, and there is a copy of the presentation. All right, well, we have not received any questions, so we hope this information has been useful to you. Again, we'll send out the thank you with a link to where this will be published, which you can also see on the screen. Thank you very much for your attendance.